my channel and welcome back to another vlog. In today's video, it is gonna be a home update, so you already know what that means. We're gonna be getting in some new pieces, updating our space. We actually have one huge update that's gonna be in today's video, which I'm really excited about. But basically, you know the drill. We're probably gonna do a little bit of shopping. There's gonna be some unboxing in here. We are slowly but surely updating our space and it is really coming to life and I'm so excited about it. But I'm also excited because today's video is sponsored by Framebridge. If you've actually been following for a while, you know I've worked with them before on Instagram. So definitely head over to Instagram and make sure you follow. But basically you guys, they have all different types of frames. I'm gonna talk about them a little bit later in today's video. You're gonna see some of the frames that I own from Framebridge and I know you're gonna love it. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, if you wanna hang out with us today, see how we update the space, check out some really cool frames, then please just keep on watching. Okay you guys, we got a CB2 package that came in the mail. So let's see what's inside. Honestly, I've been waiting to unbox this for days at this point. I was just waiting for a filming day. So first of all, shout out to me for um, having some self control. But the box has literally been like over by the kitchen for so long, it turned into like decor. Like we almost like forgot about it. And I was like, wait, hold on. I didn't unbox this yet. I mean, I know, I know what it is. I checked my email, I know what this is, but still. Excited to see it in person. And pray to God it's not broken. Oh my gosh, ooh. Okay, first of all, first of all, there is no padding around this. Like this was literally just in the box. Granted, there was like fluff and stuff over here, but as far as just in the box, it was just in here. I'm so lucky that this is not broken. Okay, this is the vase. Very, very pretty, very cute, very unique. I love this. You all know that like I usually, I tend to go a little vase crazy and I get different vases all the the time so I really need to chill out but I love this one I think this is beautiful honestly like even in the kitchen I think this would look really really pretty put like some you know flowers in here I think would look adorable or just leave it as is I think it would be pretty too so I absolutely love it it's like it kind of reminds me of like a light fixture honestly because of the bulb at the bottom and then it just has a gold top I think this is super cute I'll link it down below I'm happy it's not broken let's continue on with the vlog okay you guys so first things first we are in the glam room you have seen. I mean, can I even call it a glam room? It's right off of our bedroom. I call it the glam room. Maybe the glam corner would be more appropriate, but either way, I know you all have seen these frames before, but they are from Framebridge, and I wanna thank Framebridge for sponsoring today's video. You guys, Framebridge makes custom framing super easy. I mean, you can see the frames that we have here. Basically, Framebridge makes framing literally anything super easy we have our magazine article from our wedding when we were featured in the knot however if you want to give a gift this would make such an awesome gift you guys maybe you have like a jersey in the attic maybe you have like a license plate something that's sentimental to you you can send it in to framebridge and they can make a custom frame for you you can choose from the different frames on their website the possibilities are literally endless you guys this would make such a sweet gift for someone the holiday are coming up this would be a really really great idea I love that you can do everything from home when working with Framebridge they literally send you all the packaging that you need if you are framing something that needs to be mailed in or you can go on their website and upload a picture from your phone from your computer wherever and they will print it off for you and send you the frame with your piece of art your picture your your memorabilia whatever it is already inside and all you have to do is just hang it up on the wall it's super easy it's so convenient I mean we clearly love ours I think it's beautiful Framebridge is kind enough to give you all 15% off if you use my code Carolinelle on your first order definitely check them out I will have everything listed down in the description box but you guys I mean come on like you know I'm all about that home decor life and adding just like frames and just adding personalized art in your home is everything to me so definitely check them out and let's continue on with the vlog. Family! <laughs> what up y'all? What's going on with y'all? As you guys can see, we are inside the cave and right now it's time to build a new desk. So at the moment, I don't have a desk over here. I need to work. It's time to build a new desk. Let's get to it. As I fix the camera, cause it's crooked. You know, aside from a desk, I think I should probably invest in some good lighting in here. This is what it's looking like inside. Put my box up for you guys. Make sure everything in here is intact.
All right, you guys, as you can see, I'm in different clothing, so it's day number two, uh, putting the desk together. On pretty much the last part, I would have finished yesterday, but we all woke up early. We had to go get RG, and you know how the day gets. So, um, let's finish this thing. What you gonna do about it? Well, let's pretend we stay just friends. Would you find some other guy with the night ends? What you gonna do about it? finished completed now it's time to put that mess back on here okay you guys so man cave update let me get the whole room even though it's, it's a little bit messy right now but i'm gonna walk you all through basically what we plan on doing so if you noticed over yonder rob has a new desk yeah! <laughs> we went to Ikea, randomly saw this desk, and we were like, wait, this is really nice. So it's just basically a black desk, but the side part pulls out, which is really, really cool. And yeah, we love that. Love Rob, can you push her all the way up against the wall so we can uh, yeah, sure. really yeah. see? So basically, the desk is going to go up against the window. We are getting different curtains. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. I'm super excited. Yay. I'm very excited. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna get different curtains. Um, I'll link the ones that we're getting down below. They're from Amazon. I haven't gotten them in yet, obviously, but I'll I'll show you the ones that we're thinking of. We're gonna spread out the curtain rod. Like we're gonna make the curtain rod a little bit wider, but not too wide because what we plan to do is on either side of this wall, we're gonna add three wooden shelves. So it's gonna be three shelves on this side, three shelves on that side, and that way Rob will be able to display his Funko Pops, his anime goodies, his little, you know, gamer trinkets, if you will, all things that Rob has collected over here. Y'all, I don't know. I don't know. But this one, this one, this one man and I'm a stick beside him. Right. So whatever he like, we're going to put it up on the shelf. So we'll do three over here, three over here. Like I said, he'll display all of his cool little things. And then we're going to put a snake plant or like a kind of like a shorter plant over here. That way it won't really interfere with the shelves that we're gonna have going on. And then on this side, we're going to put a floor lamp. So I was thinking one that's kind of like arching, so it's not too tall, again, to interfere with the shelves. And then Rob is going to get a couch that's gonna go over here. We're thinking kind of like a dark brown, kind of like a cognac, um, just something really cool, masculine. We'll get a rug. We're going to put a TV up here lights around the TV, just like how we have in our room. Um, and then on this back wall, we're gonna do a really cool gallery wall. So not like a gallery wall, you know, that we have around the house. It's gonna be a different one for Rob to have like a display box with like more of his like collectibles, trophies, like, I don't know, just like really cool stuff that he has. We'll get some display boxes, we'll get some frames. Probably right. from Framebridge because we're obsessed with their frames. <laughs> There's another quick shout out. And yeah, so we'll have like different frames over here. You know, like his posters, his comic books, like just really cool um, displays of all the things that Robert is interested in. And then the goal is to clean all of this oh up. Gosh. Clean out. I mean, we have a we have doors in the closet. <laughs> like we got to get rid of that, yeah. clear all of that out, and then Rob wants to put like a gaming system or something in there. So we have started to work on this slowly but surely. I don't know. Maybe in this video we'll add the shelves. We'll see. <laughs> but that's kind of the plan for the man cave. I know we've been kind of on pause for a really really long time in this man cave. Yeah. 
I thought we were gonna have to put it off even longer because Rob was going into the office for work. But now that he's here, we're able to continue again. So anyway, anyway, this is just a little quick rundown of what we're thinking for the man cave. It's gonna be awesome. Rob, how you feeling? I'm feeling spectacular. Woo! Get it, Rob! Yeah! <laughs> Okay, you guys, and I wanted to update you really quickly on a few places in the house that we added fall home decor that I did not get to show you in our decorate with me video. We added these stems. You remember in that video, I was so clueless on where we were gonna put the stems. I didn't know. I was kind of playing around with a bunch of different spaces, but I absolutely love how they look in the office. I just feel like the fall colors blend perfectly with the colors I already had in this room, like the very warm mauve colors, even in sort of like shades of pink and purple and then mixing in like the burnt orange of these branches. I just think it looks awesome. Like this is so pretty. The, a goal of mine just in like home decor and buying, you know, home accents is getting good quality items every so often. So each season, maybe get one or two things from Pottery Barn or like, I don't know, like a West Elm or Crate and Barrel or some place kind of nice that way I can build up my collection so that's my personal goal so this time around I got my branches my branches are my nice pieces this year really happy I got them and I can always have them like, forever and always so I mean granted hopefully the leaves don't start falling off but you know what I mean so anyway this is what the office is looking like I just think it's so cozy it's so pretty over here and then I also added this glass pumpkin this is from home goods and then these actually why did I have it hold on see my my kids come in here and like mess with stuff. So I had it situated sort of like this. So basically I have like a couple little mini vases over here. I wasn't sure in the last video what I was gonna do with these. Ended up putting them here. I have this really cute like glass pumpkin here. I'll hold it up. It's from Home Goods, and I think it looks awesome over here. Again, just very, very soft, very minimal. And I really, really like it. So yeah, this is the office all ready for fall. And of course I have my fall scented candle over there and yeah. I love this. I think it's so cute. But I have a pumpkin in the cabinet over here. I just added one little pumpkin. Again, you guys, I'm just doing little, little kisses of fall. And then over here in this cabinet, I just added this one white pumpkin with the gold stem. Again, if you remember in that last video, it says welcome on it, but I just turned it around so that it would just be all white and look clean in the cabinet. Okay, and continuing with the fall decor, I just added a couple pieces in our bedroom and by a couple, I literally mean only two. We have a little wooden pumpkin here. These pumpkins are from Home Goods. I think this looks really, really cute. I mean, you all know, I'm just sprinkling fall in, you know, where she fits in, I'm sprinkling her in. And then I have another wooden pumpkin over here on my side. And I think it's just super cute. Again, it's just kind of like a nod to the fact that it's fall, but just very simple and delicate, I guess. Unboxing time. We got something in the mail from CB2. And I know what this something is. And I'm really excited because we're gonna work in the bathroom. Okay. We have a brand new, never before seen bathroom tray. <laughs> and my battery is dying. Great. Thank you so much. Okay, so it looks like this. It's not clear, but I mean, you can kind of see my hand through it right here. I think this is beautiful. I feel like it's gonna look great in the bathroom. I'm just gonna put like hand soap, my little hand cream that I have, and then maybe like a little jar with like cotton balls. I don't know, something really cute and simple on here. I think it's gonna look really, really nice. So yeah, it's a tray. <laughs> okay guys, so we are in the bathroom. <laughs> Okay, the sound machine was really loud. We are currently in the bathroom and I want to redo the countertop a little bit. I mean, I know it's a bathroom, like it doesn't need to be all that pretty. Like it should really just be functional. I look crazy. I, I look really crazy. Just ignore me right now. I need to get myself together. But basically, I wanna get rid of that skincare fridge over here because I don't really use that. I don't notice it. I mean, it does make a difference. Like it feels nice and especially my J roller, but like I don't use that often enough to just keep it right there. So I'm gonna remove that, plus I don't like the way it looks. I'm going to just clear this off. I just want it to look cute. Like I wanna walk in and it be like organized and like it looks aesthetic and it's like, oh, this is really cute. So that's the goal for today. I just showed you, I got this new tray. You see we got new lamps 
from Home Goods. So let's see what we can come up with, basically. with how this looks. I don't know if you can tell on camera the difference, just like straightening up. First of all, the difference like straightening this up uh, made. <laughs> it was really messy, but also the difference the light fixtures make. Like I ignore our bath mats, you guys. I Listen, listen, I'm just a real life person, just like you, okay? We're just gonna ignore that, okay? So anyway, I guess from this angle, this angle you can really see and appreciate the hardware matching the lamps and the light fixtures. It looks really, really good. The camera is not doing it justice. I promise you, if you were to see this in real life, you would be floored. Like it looks so good. Maybe if I just get closer on this, it looks really, really nice. I love the tray right here with the gold like hand soap and then the hand serum and then this little like case that I showed you in a previous video. Like it just looks very, very pretty. I just really, really like this. I'm so happy with it. For a while, I just kept going back and forth like, oh, what am I gonna do? I'm not really in love with this vanity setup. Like this side of the bathroom just really wasn't my favorite. I still am kind of toying with the idea of changing those light fixtures. I'm not like in love with, I, I like them, but those might get changed, so don't be surprised. But overall, I feel like it's coming together. Like from here down, like this is it. Like I love it. I think it looks really really nice i definitely now have like an itch to like add gold more gold on this side of the bathroom first of all this side of the bathroom like you can see products out the pink loofah like that's irking me like a lot of this stuff is going to be put away once we get our cabinet i feel like i say that in every video i talk about this cabinet so anyway but i'm thinking now i want to switch this to gold and the shower head and that and the handle to gold just because of the these lamps and this side has so much gold on it. I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to. Yeah, anyway, this is like a little pan over of the bathroom. This side is like trash right now, but really this side is everything. You guys, I am so excited. Oh my gosh. Okay, our butler's pantry is, I was gonna say done, but like it's pretty much done. It's, it's looking how it's pretty much gonna be looking. I'm really, really excited. If you are ready to see the upgraded new and improved butler's pantry let's get a countdown we haven't done this in so long in three two one hallelujah you guys i absolutely love it the lighting makes it look a little bit warm but it's totally fine the cabinets are the main things that are different this time around he painted the inside of the cabinets there's still some fingerprints let's ignore that he literally just left and i am hype i think it looks awesome it looks so good you all know we've pretty much been working on this since March. It's taken so long to get the cabinets. Then the cabinet arrived broken. Then they had to redo this. Then we had to go to a separate company to get the countertop and then the tiling on the back wall. Like you guys, it is just such a relief to have this pretty much done. And I say pretty much because we obviously, like we have a little bit of scuffing over there that we need to patch up. We need to add the hardware right here. But actually there's kind of something big that needs to get redone. I don't I don't know if you can see you can definitely see that there's a crack right here in the door there's a crack right there in the door and up in the corner all the way up there it's basically the same crack in all four corners it's really weird I don't know and I was really frustrated and he could tell that I was frustrated because this has been taking like I said since March so he put in a rush order we're gonna get a new door I mean the last time he put in a rush order it still took a month so call me crazy but I still want Rob to put the hardware in just because I know this is gonna take a long time this has been taking such a long time we're literally literally this emoji close to being done and I just wanted I want to see what it's gonna look like with the hardware I do have a couple complaints obviously the time being one of them but that's that's not in my control so it is what it is there is a gap right here and 
I did not realize that there was going to be a gap. I thought the doors were going to be touching. It's so small. It's very minute. It's not that big of a deal. But if you look at our kitchen, hold on, let me show you. Okay, so you can see here in our kitchen, the glass doors are literally touching. And that's really what I wanted in the butler's pantry. But we have a gap. I'm, I'm not going to be that picky. I mean, it, it's fine. But my meticulous type A personality is not 100% happy that the glass doors are so separate. I wanted them touching and together like this but it's fine I'm just so ready to be done that like it's it's it still looks good like it's not that big of a deal so yeah anyway this is what the butler's pantry is looking like I'm gonna have Rob install the hardware even though they're gonna replace that door I just want the hardware on and Robert I hope that's okay with you Aren't they getting rid of the door? yeah <laughs> <laughs> Rob's just along for the ride. <laughs> Rob, Rob's like, okay. You want hardware? You get hardware. Oh, yeah. Get some hardware. <laughs> no, get you a Rob. Shout out to Rob. Always down for my, my ways. <laughs>